floating island at the very edges of the void. But this one is special. It's the place where my throat was cut 4,000 years ago. This is where my life ended and where it began again. It's where they made me. This part of the void feels older. Right up until the end, I thought I'd find a way to escape. I fought, but the rooms only cut my skin, so I went limp. And then the knife touched my throat, and I knew I'd waited too long. The blood ran out, and I became a god. Now you know Delilah's secret. At the end of her days, she drifted to the void and should have been lost forever. But her will and cunning are second to none. She found this place, the island in the void where I became what I am. It changed her, and she discovered a way to draw from it, tapping into the power here. Delilah is a part of me now, and I don't like it. You have to give Delilah credit. She tore out a piece of herself and hid it away inside a thing made of bones. She's made herself immortal. If you want to kill Delilah, you're going to have to find her spirit and give it back to her. Reaching it won't be easy, but what comes after that might be the hardest thing you will ever have to do. is full of secrets. All right, back to the skiff. Sokolov should be waiting. Family committee made a request. Too much dust was pissing down. Oh, at least still didn't listen to them. More than I can say for the Grand Guard. Yeah, the Duke is rotten and it spreads out from there. But Aramis Stilton is a good man. He did approval for the new ventilation shaft. It'll mark a real victory. He knows we appreciate it. Lucia Pastor, right? You deserve thanks for helping the people here. Considering who you are, I don't know whether to feel honored that you recognize me or to yell at you for propping up the Duke while he's shitting all over Circonos. And who do you think I am? I'm not stupid. Whether the newspapers and the posters in the street are right or wrong, I know who you are. And I hope you're here to end Luca Abella's tyranny. Either way, we haven't been sitting around waiting for you to clean up your mess. Sounds like you have a plan. No, nothing that solid. Not yet. But I believe the Duke will fall, eventually. All I can say is that when you reach the Grand Palace, just be aware that not everyone there is your enemy. Trust your judgment. All right. I'll remember that. Anyway, good luck. There's still a chance to make something new here in Karnaka. Something that serves everyone, not just some rapacious bastard with a title. I told her, if you want my advice, just pay the fine and be done with it. No use making trouble. Pastor. Well, she's supposed to talk to Stilton soon about new safety rules for the mines. But you are ours for the children of the mines. Guy, why does Pastor care in the first place? Face. She Don't isn't one of us. Oh, Never well. seen her carrying a pick or a shovel. Maybe no one will even notice, but things have changed here for the better. Leaders rise and fall. You're back. That was quick. Are you ready to leave? <clears throat> the dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. 
Yes. I paid a visit to Vice Overseer Byrne. At least I think I did. And I've been to Stilton's house. Duke Luca Bell tore down the original palace in Karnaka, where his father once pinned a medal to my chest. Over the ruins, the Duke built a structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. A sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego. I owe it to the people of my homeland to make this right. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. grow up and learn that his actions as ruler of Sirkonos have very real consequences. <laughs> he could always count on the backing of Dunwall's finances and navy. Maybe without that, he would have developed a healthy respect for the people of Sirkonos. Fear of the executioner's block has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. Once the Duke falls, it's my hope that we can build something better here. Something more representative and inclusive. Are you ready for this? I've broken into palaces before. They're made to keep out armies. Stopping a single man who's dedicated to his cause that's another story altogether. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile. Emily and I have a lot to think about after all this is done. Ready to visit the Duke? We should head out. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. 
A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Why don't they just overthrow him? He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall. Toadies sucking up to Emily made me want to be back on the streets in Circonos. You're forgetting what that's like. I watched those party lines from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you struggled. After years of court, I'm a nobody again. But what I've seen here will stay with me when I return to Dunwall Tower. Being in Karnaka again has given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. 